Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. Hello friends, in the last class we have introduced the graph data structure and we have seen how we can uh, draw the graph, what are the elements involved in the graph and everything. And today in this class I am going to show you how to how we can represent the graph data structure in the memory and what is the code uh, that can be used to design the graph data structure using C program right so let's recall the definition of graph a graph is a non-linear data structure uh, which means elements are not stored in the linear order and uh, which uh, graph contains a set of points known as nodes or vertices and set of links known as edges which connect the vertices right so there are two kinds of representation of graph we can use the adjacency matrix to represent the graph in the data structure and we can also use the adjacency list to represent the graph in the data structure in this class I'm going to show you how we can represent the graph using adjacency matrix for uh, for that uh, we are going to use the two dimensional array which represents the matrix and using that two dimensional array we are going to represent the graph in the adjacency in the form of adjacency matrix right so first let's understand what is adjacency matrix let us consider this graph uh, which has got four nodes a b c d and five edges right so the number of vertices is equal to 4 and the number of edges is equal to 5. So this is the adjacency matrix for this graph. A, B, C, D are the names given to the nodes and we are going to fill this matrix with 1s and zeros, right? We are going to map from one node to node. If there is a connection between one node to another node, we will represent that connection as 1. If there is no connection between uh, a pair of nodes and we will represent that with 0 right so how we will map a uh, connection from A to A A to B A to C and A to D connection means the edges between the nodes and the edge between B to A B to B B to C and B to D and so on so let us start from the node A so from A to A is there a connection from A to A there is no edge between a node to itself right so this will be represented as 0 what about A to B? So there is a edge A to B. So this will be represented with 1. Right? So because there is a connection from A to B, I'll put 1 in the cell A to B. So there is also connection from A to C. So let us put 1 in A to C. And there is a connection between A to D. So 1 in A to D. Now come to the B vertex from B vertex to A there is a connection so that it is represented as 1 B to B there is no connection or there is no edge from B to A itself so it is 0 and B to C as there is so it is 1 and B to D no there is no con direct connection so here the connection or edge means the direct connection because there is no edge from B to D directly so it is represented as 0 next with the vertex C, C to A as there is a, a connection so it is 1 C to B it is 1 and C to C no so it is 0 C to D it is so it is 1 now with the vertex D so D to A as it is so it is 1 D to B no direct connection between B to B and D so it is 0 what about D to C as it is so D to D no so this is the adjacency matrix for this graph right so this is how we can represent a graph in the memory of data structure so using this we are going to so with the help of this adjacency matrix we are going to build a two dimensional array which represents this matrix and first we will assign zeros to all the memory locations then we'll ask the user to enter the pair of nodes like A to A or B to C or C and B like this. 
if if the user enters the pair of nodes and we will match these pair of nodes and we will put one in the cell or uh, which is the pair of two nodes right so we're going to do that first i'm using the structure to represent the graph so using the struct keyword the structure name is graph here I have declared three variables. One is V, which stores the total number of vertices, and E, which stores the total number of edges among the vertices, and the adjacency pointer. So this pointer points to the adjacency matrix, right? So once this is executed, I will get this node. I mean uh, this graph structure. So V will hold the number of vertices, right? and he will hold the number of edges among the vertices and this adj this is a pointer i mean uh, the double pointer you can call this means the pointer to the pointer so if i go and build a two dimensional array like this so to how to access each and individual cells in this uh, matrix with the help of adjacency pointer i'm going to point to each and individual cell so that is why i've declared this as a, a double pointer so this will point to the array if i if you want to point to any cell in the two dimensional array that must be the double pointer okay so here is the code i'm using the adjacency matrix of graph function this is the function name and this is going to return the address of the structure graph right let's do that so i've declared three uh, variables here u v and i and using the malloc function first i will uh, allocate the memory for the node which i just explained so the type of address that is going to uh, return is struct graph right this will allocate the memory required for uh, required for one structure of graph right so this will allocate using the malloc of function and it will return the pointer of the type struct graph right and that will be stored in g so g is a pointer which stores the address of this structure so now g is pointing to this structure right so this uh, this has been allocated so the memory required for this structure because this is going to hold the total number of vertices total number of edges and the pointer to the adjacency matrix right if g that means if g is null right if g is null i'll tell no memory allocated because of some issues if it uh, if this program unable to take the memory i'll tell no memory allocated and i'll return uh, from this function no further statements will be executed otherwise i'll start uh, with the further statements so enter the number of edges i'll ask the user to enter the number of uh, sorry number of nodes and edges so he will enter uh, using the scanf functions and i will store the nodes in g arrow v that means here say suppose he entered four number of vertices and four number of edges so that will be stored in g arrow e right so okay user has entered four edges and four vertices so now i'm going to create the two dimensional array using the malakoff function so what is the size of the two dimensional array g arrow v multiplied with g arrow v that means four cross four matrix of size int so that is total number of 16 bytes right and this will the address of this block will be stored in g arrow adjacency that is this so after this execution i will get this and the address of this uh, matrix is stored here because g arrow adjacency will get the address of this newly created uh, block right that is array okay i'll erase this i hope you understood this please trace by yourself to get the clear idea right so the address of this cell has now stored in this adjacency pointer right i hope you knew that how to initialize the two dimensional array if you don't know please go and watch our c programming 
playlist where we have explained two dimensional array and single dimensional array and how to initialize it and to do that i'm using the for two for loops one i initialized u with 0 and v with 0 so u represents the total number of vertices and v represents total number of edges so until u remains less than g arrow v that is less than 4 until v remains less than g arrow v that is total number of uh, edges only because both are 4 so I am using the same variable here right and I am going to store add u arrow v that means u arrow v that is 0 comma 0 this so this is 0 1 2 and 3 and this is 0 1 2 and 3 so u comma v what is u u is 0 v is also 0 so u comma u comma v means 0 comma 0 uh, that means this cell and I will store 0 inside this cell so I'm going to repeat this loop iterate through this loop and I'll store zeros in all the cells so this is what I get after executing after executing this loop so this is the output of this two four way uh, four loops right and I'll and I'll tell the user to enter the node numbers in pair for an edge that means the user has to enter either 0 0 or 0 1 0 2 0 3 to make a connection between those two nodes say suppose and I am using the for loop there right say suppose user has entered 0 1 so 0 is stored in u and 1 is stored in v so I have to make this cell as 1 so to do that I am using g arrow adjacency u comma v that means this cell right this is on 0 comma 1 now this is no longer be 0 this is 1 now right and v comma u also 1 because this is not a directed graph if there is an edge between 0 and 1 there is also edge between 1 and 0 so v is 1 0 uh, u is 0 so I'll store 1 also in 1 comma 0 that is here so I'll store 1 here also right and again this loop iterates and the user has to enter the next pair wherever he enters I'll store 1 inside the cell so this will be repeated until uh, he enters the four pairs of the nodes right because there is four pairs one two three and four I hope you understood this code if you don't understand please comment below we will try to answer it well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn thank you